All right. So today we're working on a 2012 Dodge Ram 3500. It's just got the 68 RFE trans in it. <clears throat> so this is the four wheel drive switch motor is what I believe they call it at Dodge. So uh, I haven't found any videos on how to replace it or anything. Just a lot of videos on 1500s. It's actually pretty straightforward. Um, there's three, four bolts holding this in. And then there's just one plug. Um, this is the new one. You can see that that is, it only fits in there one way. So, and as it should be in the two wheel drive position, uh, I would imagine, cause that's what my truck's in. So we'll see as it goes back together. The only tricky part about this is if you live on a gravel road or are in a lot of grime, um, getting, getting this tab out. So I've already struggled with it. So you guys don't have to watch me do it. There's just a little, little piece in there. This little center piece you have to depress and then pull it out. So nothing, nothing crazy on that. Um, probably gonna fall there. Okay. And then you just pull that apart. Comes out just like that. And can see where I've been tapping on that. Um, I would imagine this is a solenoid. Been tapping on that because it's been getting stuck. So, and you can see that my truck was in two wheel drive. This is the old one. So it is in the two wheel drive position. So now going back together, be pretty, should be pretty straightforward if I can get the phone to the set right there for you. Sorry, you have to watch that. All right, I'll just leave it there. So going back on, it'll fit right in that groove. Should be flush to the, to the case. And the symptoms I was getting uh, would be um, intermittent four-wheel drive work would work and not work. And it would say a uh, service four-wheel drive system or something like that. And then I could shut my truck off, turn it back on. Sometimes it would do it itself. Sometimes I would have to get down here and, um, and, and give it a couple of hits with, you know, whatever I could find a rock or if I had a hammer in the truck or a wrench and it would just a couple of light taps and it would eventually loosen up and, and turn. So, um, yeah, that's that pretty straightforward. I think if you can find a, a wrench or a socket to put on there, you should be able to do it. Um, there's really not much to it. Obviously, I still have to tighten those up, but this is where I'm going to end it. So if you guys have any other questions, uh, feel free to reach out. I'll, I'll answer it and do what I can. Um, yeah, have a good day, guys. Hope this helps.